Welcome to Make Your Mark podcast, where guests share their experiences, insights, and tactics to help you accelerate your business. So building, scaling, and monetizing your business is made easier. And I will be your host, Kay Suthar. Have you ever heard something called pod fade? It's actually an industry known term. And whilst a lot of people haven't heard of it or may have heard of it, but don't actually know what it means, there's so many people when launching a podcast actually experience it. And so in this video, I'm going to be explaining what pod fade is and how you can prevent it from happening to you. And so the term pod fade actually means when you're launching your own podcast and you create content and you have it released, say, every single week, once a week, and you may have one going out, two, three, four, and then eventually you kind of decide that this isn't working or it's taking too much of your time or you'll just feel like you're in this hamster wheel and all you're doing is editing, doing content, putting it out there, and you're just going around and around in circles and you're probably not seeing results that you want. And it's taken so much of your time. And so after you've had a few episodes out, you decided, you know what, this isn't worth your time or energy. Um, And there's actually a lot more involved in podcasting than you thought. Or you're just not too sure on how to organize yourself, right? On what things should take priority and how to do the planning. And what I'm going to do next is give you some tips and tricks and as to how you can prevent yourself from going into pod fade. So first of all, I would always suggest, especially if you're new to podcasting and you don't have a team and you're doing it all solo, I will suggest you actually block recording episodes. Now, regardless of whether you're doing solo episodes yourself or you're bringing guests along or you might even have a mixture, right? Always do block recordings. Pre-record all of your episodes prior to it being released. This is the easiest way in the beginning to get your podcasting journey going. And I know there's a lot of podcasts out there that do live stream, right? And you're probably thinking this is an awesome way to have a podcast, have it live stream in all these different platforms where you see your audience live on screen interacting with you. And it's great if you have a team and you're committed to showing up live every single week on that same day at the same time. Okay, if you can guarantee you can do that, then go ahead, do the live stream. But Most of you probably can't guarantee that because life is life and things happen. Say if you're not able to show up live one week, you can have someone from your team member actually do it. Or you might even have a co-host. And if that's the case, then you can totally bounce off each other um, and help each other out on weeks that you can't actually show up. But again, if you're doing this solo on your own and you don't have a team and you don't have a co-host, the best way to ensure that you stay consistent with all the content and value every single week is to make sure that you pre-record all of your episodes ahead of time. And so once you decide that you're going to pre-record, it's just a matter of doing a little bit more planning as to what content you actually want to share with everybody and if you want to bring a guest along or not. And in fact, having a mixture of solo episodes and guests can actually help you out because you can totally book a load of guests in your calendar to record these episodes and then have a few that you do solo going out as well. And so what I tend to do is I look at my calendar for a year and see where I'm going away, um, any celebrations. And so if you've got anything like that, family vacations coming up and you know it's going to be a couple of months down the line, you want to make sure that you record and make it all automated to the point where it actually releases on the day and time you want it to, even though you're on holiday, even though you are a family or that you're on the beach with a margarita in your hand. It doesn't matter. Once you pre-recorded it and you then schedule it to go out on a certain time and day, then it doesn't matter where you are. But if you're live recording, it's very difficult to do that. And so it does mean doing a little bit of planning ahead of time. And so once you know the dates that you're going to be away, Right, You want to then think about, all right, I may need to do enough episodes recorded for the next three months. Okay, Now, the more you have in the bag, the better it's going to be for you. And honestly, I've got enough episodes to last me the next eight months. So I don't have to worry about it. And it's just on um, auto. I know which episodes are going out on which weeks. And know that I don't need to worry about it because all the editing would have been done, 
or the assets to promote and we will be talking about that in the next episode all those have been created and they're all scheduled to go out so once you have recorded them all then you've done the editing um, and making sure you've got all the promotional materials and that they're all scheduled out then it doesn't matter where you are right and if you're looking to take out say two months in the summer to spend with your kids you can totally do that as long as you have planned and recorded all of those episodes to last you two months then you can go ahead and do whatever you like if there's other projects or other launches you're looking to actually put a lot of your time in again this is another reason why it's great to have all of these recorded beforehand so you can start focusing on other projects in your business as well you also want to ensure that you enjoy podcasting, that you're enjoying giving the information, the value um, on these episodes yourself, that you actually enjoy having guests on your show. If you don't enjoy doing podcasting, right, that's the only reason, right, I would say stop doing podcasting, right? Stop releasing episodes if you no longer enjoy it anymore. But before you do that, I want you to think about why you're not enjoying it. Is it because it's taking too much time out? Is it because you're not making any money? You don't know how to monetize? And if you knew how to do those things, would you enjoy it a lot more? Guarantee you would. If you're making money from your podcast, you absolutely would continue doing your podcast and producing episodes every single week. Now, if there's gaps in your podcasting journey, and you're not actually seeing the results that you thought you would see, then again, it means that you need some education, you need some coaching, right? And that's where we're coming. Like, feel free to reach out to us and go to makeyourmyagency.com. You can totally book a call there. You feel like there's anything that you're missing and that you know that you can make money and you can get a bigger reach. But if it's not happening for you, this is where you need to actually start investing in your education. You also want to make sure you understand the reason why you started a podcast and that it's not just because everybody else is doing that you decide to jump in as well. Because the reason why you started a podcast is going to affect the way you actually strategically plan your entire podcast and episodes. Okay. And so what I mean by that is if you decide to start a podcast because you want to network. And honestly, that's why I decided to start my podcast right at the beginning stages three years ago is because we were in the pandemic and I just wanted to speak with people and meet people all over the world. I didn't want to sit and stop networking. And that's why I decided that I was going to create a podcast where I have guests coming on every single week talking about specific topics. Now, if that's what you want to do and you want to build your network, then absolutely have guests coming on every single week. However, if you want to launch your podcast because you want to bring in leads and convert them into sales, then that's going to be a very different approach. And most of the time you want to be doing solo episodes. So really take a think about as to why you want to start your podcast, because that's also going to be the motivator for you to keep going and prevent yourself from going through pod fade. I would love to hear from all of you guys to see where you're at in your podcasting journey. If you have actually experienced pod fade and not even realized that you're going through it. And if you have done, if you would like to start your podcast back up, right? With the right information, we're making sure that you're filling the gaps up and that you're actually starting your podcast in the right way, right from the get-go. If you are interested in learning more about podcasting, no matter where you are, whether you're in your beginning stages or if you want to scale your podcast, then ensure that you do reach out because I'm here to help every single one of you. And I want to make sure that you succeed in your podcasting journey because there is so much you're missing on the table by not podcasting. And I urge every single one of you to start a podcast because once it is done in the right way, it can completely change your business. And I look forward to hearing your comments and learning where you're at in your podcasting journey. And I will see you in next week's episode. Thanks for listening to Make Your Mark Podcast at www.makeyourmarkpodcast.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get this and every other episode that comes out. We have lots of great stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you in advance for all the reviews and comments. I appreciate it so much, and I look forward to serving you in next week's episode.